No mercy for Danny Masterson. The actor sentenced today to the max, 30 years to life in prison. Welcome to Watch Mojo. For this list, we'll be looking at the worst and most famous incidents that dealt major blows to careers and public images of prominent celebrity figures. I thought he was a war hog from hell. And Ashley Judd. I thought no meant no. Millie Vanilli. Few bands have come and gone as quickly as Millie Vanilli. The German duo saw great success in the late 80s with three consecutive number one hit singles, Baby Don't Forget My Number, Blame It On The Rain, and Girl I'm Gonna Miss You. It's a tragedy for me to see, the dream is over. And then came the lip-syncing scandal. During a televised performance on July 21st, 1989, the pre-recorded track began skipping, causing frontman Rob Pilatus to run off stage in panic. This launched a complete unraveling of the group. Not only did they not sing live, but they didn't sing. Period. The group's founder, Frank Farian, soon confessed that neither Pilatus nor Fab Morvan actually sang on the records. And that was that for Millie Vanilli. Lori Loughlin. Will you guys just wait till dinner? I'm gonna make you all eat crow. Known for shows like Full House and 90210, Lori Loughlin had a steady and respectable career in the television industry. But on March 12, 2019, it became public knowledge that Lachlan was being indicted by the FBI on charges of fraud and bribery. Along with Felicity Huffman, the actress was embroiled in the Varsity Blues scandal, which saw rich individuals bribing universities to having their children admitted. In the specific case of Lachlan, she and her husband allegedly paid half a million dollars to get their daughters on the rowing team of the University of Southern California. She was sentenced to two months in prison and hasn't done much acting since. They pleaded not guilty to felony charges linked to the historic college admission scandal. Stephen Collins. This retired actor was famous for playing Reverend Eric Camden on the WB drama Seventh Heaven. You know what, girls? Tonight's not such a good night for company. The show was a huge success for the network, garnering multiple award wins and nominations and running for a staggering 11 seasons. But in December of 2014, Collins told People magazine that he had committed some major sexual crimes dating back to the early 70s. Why did you do it? It was a combination of poor impulse control, arrogance, 25-year-old arrogance. This admission came after both the NYPD and LAPD revealed that they were investigating Collins for inappropriate sexual behavior. The actor was never legally punished for the infractions, but his career came to an end following the admission to People. I, I know that other people are going to judge and doubt, and I can't do anything about it. All I can do is tell my truth. His final role was voicing Howard Stark in an episode of Avengers Assemble. Lance Armstrong There are a small number of athletes who become the public faces of their respective sport. Lance Armstrong was that to cycling. The winner of seven consecutive Tour de France titles, there was simply no stopping Armstrong throughout the early 2000s. The widely celebrated athlete broke through the cycling community to become a household name. Unfortunately, that mesmerizing achievement was wiped away in 2012 when the United States Anti-Doping Agency accused him of cheating. I get people that say he hasn't apologized enough. And then I get a lot of people that say, dude, stop apologizing. Not only was Armstrong doping, he was running, in their words, the most sophisticated, professionalized, and successful doping program that sport has ever seen. Armstrong's record-setting titles were stripped following the revelation, and he was banned from all organized sports. The last six years, in a lot of ways, has really sucked. It's been terrible. Jeffrey Jones. Smell the coffee, Mrs. Bueller. It's a fool's paradise. He is just leading you down the primrose. This guy was everywhere in the 80s, popping up in acclaimed movies like Amadeus, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and Beetlejuice. Jones's career continued on a strong trajectory throughout the 90s before imploding in 2002. That was the year Jones was arrested for a crime that landed him on California's registry of sex offenders. 
I'm gonna set a trap and let him fall right into it. Since then, the disgraced actor has only appeared in three films, one of which was a short in which he played himself. His career on television took a similar blow. Deadwood, which he starred in for three seasons, came to an end in 2006, and Jones has only appeared in two projects since. One which he was uncredited for, the other, the Deadwood TV movie from 2019. Kevin Spacey Few actors have fallen so far from grace. Regarded as one of the finest performers of his generation, Kevin Spacey has won two Academy Awards for his acting. He also helped usher in the success of Netflix, starring as Frank Underwood in House of Cards. In 2017, however, actor Anthony Rapp accused Spacey of sexual misconduct, prompting 15 others to come forward with similar accusations. Spacey's career collapsed, and he was fired from all future projects. In the very short time since the first person came forward, they have essentially written him out of House of Cards, and he's been cut from a film that is set to come out in December. In 2022, Spacey was found not liable in the rap case and was subsequently cast in a few film roles. After facing further charges in a UK trial that began in June 2023, he was cleared on all counts a month later. What I think we're seeing is strength in numbers and a little less fear that speaking your truth will end your career. The voices of male accusers, now a powerful part of the chorus. Tonya Harding. I would like to begin by saying how sorry I am. This famous figure skater showed incredible promise. Aside from winning some national championships, Tonya Harding was also the second woman to land a triple axel and the first to do two in the same competition. Unfortunately, all this talent and promise crashed to the ice on January 6th, 1994. It was then that Harding's ex-husband, Jeff Galuli, orchestrated an attack on fellow skater Nancy Kerrigan. Did you ever fear for your life with Jeff? Many times. He hoped to debilitate Kerrigan, thereby giving Harding a greater chance at the National Figure Skating Championships and Winter Olympics. Harding was found guilty of obstruction and banned from all future figure skating events. Following a brief career in boxing, Harding fell into anonymity and worked a variety of odd jobs, including as a welder and Sears clerk. Jared Fogel After losing over 200 pounds while supposedly on a diet of Subway sandwiches, Jared Fogel was hired to become the company's spokesperson. He remained in the role for the next 15 years and appeared in over 300 commercials for Subway, which helped make him a household figure. However, Fogel was made a social pariah in 2015 when he was arrested by the FBI and charged with serious sex crimes. He now is sentenced to more than 15 and a half years in prison. That's more than even the prosecution asked for. Fogel was fired from Subway and entered a plea agreement. In the words of Judge Tanya Pratt, the level of perversion and lawlessness exhibited by Mr. Fogel is extreme and she sentenced him to nearly 16 years in prison. He is currently serving time in Colorado's FCI Englewood. Just hours after that raid, Subway suspended their relationship with Jared, who in the past few years had become the public face of the sandwich empire, Kathy Griffin. This comedian is no stranger to controversy, as her humor is based primarily on pushing the envelope and getting a reaction. But she may have crossed a line when she joked about killing Donald Trump. On May 30th, 2018, Griffin posted a particularly graphic image to her socials, which generated much public ire. You have to leave Mexico today, because we're going to go Griffin apologized and took the photo down, but the damage had already been done. She lost business partnerships, was fired from CNN, and her tour dates were canceled. Griffin still works in comedy but faces a number of roadblocks. For example, she was forced to self-release her 2019 special A Hell of a Story, as it was rejected by every TV network and streaming service. I sincerely apologize. I'm a comic. I crossed the line. I moved the line, then I cross it. I went way too far. CeeLo Green. But maybe I'm crazy. Maybe you're crazy. You could
couldn't turn on the radio in the early 21st century without hearing the smooth voice of CeeLo Green. Whether it was crazy or forget you, his tunes had people bopping and singing along the world over. But in 2012, Green was accused of sexual battery and drugging a woman's drink. He was sentenced to three years of probation and later made public remarks about the case on Twitter. However, these remarks only generated further controversy owing to Green's problematic viewpoints. His career has been pretty darned quiet ever since. Green hasn't had a single chart in the US since Forget You, but he has found voice acting work on the Disney Plus show The Proud Family, Louder and Prouder. Slow your roll, boo-boo. Sugar is not going into well. I can't believe he's actually talking! Gina Carano once called the face of women's MMA, Gina Carano was a successful fighter before transitioning to acting. She immediately landed roles of a lifetime, appearing in Fast and Furious 6, Deadpool, and The Mandalorian. We need to get into the system and figure out what's going on. What about the reaction? Do it! However, she threw it all away in 2021 after making a number of controversial posts on social media. Carano seemingly compared conservatives to Jews in occupied Europe, spoke on voter fraud in the 2020 election, and repeatedly criticized the use of COVID masks. It was all too much for Lucasfilm, who fired her from The Mandalorian. Well, she was fired because she had heterodox opinions on face masks and the 2020 election. She has since been relegated to roles in conservative films, including The Daily Wire's Terror on the Prairie and Breitbart's My Son Hunter. What's happening in there? Joe's in on it. Army Hammer. This actor was on the rise throughout the 2010s, starring in The Lone Ranger and The Man from Uncle, before earning critical acclaim as Oliver in Call Me By Your Name. So what do you do around here? Read books, transcribe music, swim at the river, go out at night. I don't know. That sounds fun. But everything collapsed in January of 2021. It was then that text messages that revealed Hammer's violent fantasies were made public. For weeks, I've been trying to process everything that has transpired. I am shocked, heartbroken, and devastated. Other women also came forward with allegations of abuse, and the woman who leaked the original text accused Hammer of sexually assaulting her in 2017. The actor dropped out or was fired from a string of projects and moved to the Cayman Islands, where he reportedly worked as a timeshare salesman. I'm not responding to these expletive claims, but in light of the vicious online attacks against me, I cannot in good conscience now leave my children for four months to shoot a film. Matt Lauer. One of the most prominent American newsmen, Matt Lauer found great success co-hosting the NBC program Today. He lasted 20 years on the show, with his tenure spanning from 1997 to 2017. We're very excited to be celebrating you, Matt, and Al and I were lucky enough to be here when it all started in 1997. <laughs> it was in that year that a fellow NBC employee reported that Lauer had repeatedly harassed her. Many other allegations were reported throughout the following years, and according to journalist Ronan Farrow, NBC was fully aware of Lauer's predatory behavior. The evidence in this book, the documentation and paper trail of settlements, reveals that there were multiple uh, arrangements to keep women quiet who had allegations against Matt Lauer years before this one that got him fired. They only acted following the public accusation and fired Lauer in November 2017. Lauer and his wife divorced in 2019, and Lauer has reportedly spent his time writing a tell-all book. It had been a stunning fall from grace for Matt Lauer. After his firing, his wife divorced him. He's selling his $44 million Hamptons home and went almost totally dark on social media. Roseanne Barr. There once was a time when Roseanne Barr was the hottest name in television. Her eponymous sitcom was a huge success throughout the late 80s and 90s, running for 10 seasons and earning Barr an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy. Oh, hold it right there. You were very, very mean to me and hurt my feelings today, and I'm not sure that I even want to talk to you yet. 
The show was revived in 2018, but it only lasted one season before Barr's controversial actions got it cancelled. On May 29th of that year, Barr wrote a racist tweet aimed at a government official, Valerie Jarrett. Within hours, ABC pulled the plug on the show, saying Roseanne's Twitter statement is abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with our values, and we've decided to cancel her show. The reaction was swift and severe, with ABC canceling the show that very same day. A spinoff titled The Connors was made without Barr, and she disappeared from the television landscape. I know Roseanne would want me to step in and watch over the family. No, it'd kill her. <laughs> but she's already dead, so carry on. Bill O'Reilly One of the most popular conservative commentators, Bill O'Reilly was known for hosting The O'Reilly Factor on Fox News. Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. We'll have the Talking Points memo a bit later on, but first, an interview with Donald Trump. It ran for 21 seasons between 1996 and 2017. While the program was an enormous success in the ratings, it came to a sudden end once settlements against O'Reilly were made known. The New York Times broke a story and revealed that O'Reilly had been the target of five sexual harassment lawsuits. The path to O'Reilly's ouster began two weeks ago with the New York Times investigation, revealing that five women, including guests and employees of his show, had been paid $13 million in settlements. Both he and Fox News paid millions in settlements. Advertisers dropped their support for the O'Reilly factor once the news was made public, and Fox fired their most popular host. He then started hosting a podcast called No Spin News. Hey, Bill O'Reilly here. Welcome to the No Spin News. Danny Masterson. This actor won't be appearing on your TV screen anytime soon. Danny Masterson initially found success playing Hyde on That 70s Show, and later reunited with his co-star Ashton Kutcher on Netflix's The Ranch. But in March of 2017, Masterson was accused of sexual assault by three women, prompting the complete downfall of his career. The jury deadlocked on her case in the retrial, but found Masterson guilty. Masterson was fired by Netflix and dropped by the United Talent Agency all while more women came forth with their own allegations. Inside the courtroom, Masterson sat stone-faced as his victims addressed the court. One said the world is a better place with him locked up. In 2023, Masterson was convicted of sexually assaulting two women and sentenced to 30 years to life in prison. In his new trial, after the guilty verdicts came in, Masterson was immediately handcuffed and sent to jail. Jesse Smollett. Beginning in 2015, ex-child star Jussie Smollett began starring as Jamal Lyon on Fox's Empire. Is this your idea of a sick joke? Nah, I me. Mean, you seem kind of jealous of the song I wrote for mom, so I wrote one for you. Did you know about this? The show was an immediate success, garnering several Emmy nominations and being named one of the 10 best shows of the year by the American Film Institute. In January 2019, Smollett fabricated a fake hate crime and was later sued by the city of Chicago. Breaking overnight, a law enforcement source familiar with the investigation tells NBC News that Chicago police are now looking into whether Empire actor Jussie Smollett actually paid two men to fake an attack against him. They had filed a lawsuit hoping to reclaim over $130,000 that they had spent fruitlessly investigating Smollett's tall tale. He was also fired from Empire and hasn't appeared on TV since. In December of 2021, Smollett was found guilty of five felony counts of disorderly conduct and sentenced to 150 days in county jail. There are people that are actual, genuine victims of hate crimes that you did damage to. I don't know how this is going to impact other people, if they're going to be hesitant to come forward because they're going to think that they're going to be accused of acting like you. R. Kelly a huge star of the 90s, R. Kelly is a multi-Grammy winner who has sold over 75 million records. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. However, he was also repeatedly accused of sexual misconduct and abuse for decades. He managed to evade consequences for this behavior until the release of the 2019 Lifetime documentary Surviving R. Kelly, 
which chronicles his history of allegations. I felt like my silence allowed it to continue. I worked up the courage to come forward and tell my story. A part of me always felt like maybe I did something for him to treat me that way. I want my story to be heard. Following its release, Kelly was dropped by RCA Records and charged with new crimes. He was found guilty of racketeering and of violating the Mann Act, which concerns the transportation of women for illicit activities. He was subsequently sentenced to 30 years in prison and faced another trial in 2023, which added one more year to his term. And showed no remorse, and in fact seemed to believe that as a music superstar, he was somehow immune from having to behave lawfully. Harvey Weinstein. This man was once a powerful figure in Hollywood. Harvey Weinstein was the king of Hollywood, a mogul with 81 Oscars to his name. The co-founder of both Miramax and the Weinstein Company, Harvey Weinstein is the Oscar and Tony-winning producer behind works like Pulp Fiction, Goodwill Hunting, and Shakespeare in Love. However, behind the scenes, he used his power and influence to sexually harass and assault women. Things came to a head in October of 2017 when the New York Times and the New Yorker reported over a dozen allegations against him, sparking the hashtag MeToo movement. It's been five years since allegations against Harvey Weinstein set in motion a movement that changed Hollywood and the world, some women still hoping for justice. In total, over 80 women came forth accusing Weinstein of harassment and or assault, including popular actress Rose McGowan. Weinstein was charged and found guilty of two felonies and sentenced to 23 years in prison. We have breaking news for you. Harvey Weinstein is heading to prison. Judge James Burke in New York City just delivered the sentence 23 years. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Bill Cosby. While he had been a successful comedian since the 60s, Bill Cosby is mostly remembered for starring as Cliff Huxtable in the enormously popular The Cosby Show. It's under control, so no, no problem. problem. Right. <laughs> How do you expect to get into college with grades like this? No problem. Huh? See, I'm not going to college. Damn right. While he was known as America's dad throughout the 1980s, this changed dramatically in the 2010s. After comedian Hannibal Burris drew attention to allegations against Cosby in 2014, numerous women came forward with further accusations of sexual assault, dating all the way back to the mid-60s. This round started off, believe it or not, as a joke. Back on October 16th, comedian Hannibal Burris says something that goes viral. On September 25th, 2018, Cosby was sentenced to prison for aggravated indecent assault. He remained behind bars for nearly three years, but his conviction was overturned in June 30th, 2021. The Philadelphia Supreme Court threw out the conviction, saying Cosby's due process rights were violated. While Cosby was released from prison, his career is effectively over. 